Ayo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Bricks. Hope you're having a fantastic day. You can tell by the title, the idea sets just don't stop. Actually just finished a video on the two new official LEGO idea sets that got announced. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. But here, I realized in May of this year, a couple months ago, the first round of ideas got accepted. So they closed submissions and officially showed off all of the sets that are going to be from the submission pool and i missed it actually so i thought i'm going to take a few minutes run down all these sets try to not get my hopes up for too many of them because this is a fantastic round of sets you're going to see here in a second but super casual i don't know anything very specific about any of these sets um and i'm just going to run down them because you know uh it's hard to decide or you know hope for one set when there's 48 of them and maybe only two get selected so uh, imagine being one of the, the, the designers, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so we've got Spirited Away, uh, I love the Miyazaki films, uh, the Japanese Disney, if you will, and having the no face and the dragon is a nice addition there, be really cool to see some extras, probably would be nice coming across the bridge, uh, we've got an Avatar set, and with the live action that got kind of put into motion, I think this would be cool to have, uh, a, any type of avatar, you know, Appa the Sky Bison, based on the cartoon, even though we've got the live action going on right now. Uh, Venus Flytrap, not what I imagine when I hear Venus Flytrap. I'm sure it's scientifically correct, but down there is where, you know, that's what I imagine when I, when I hear Venus Flytrap. But it kind of also has a little bit of conflict of interest with the botanical line, so not sure that they would do it. It would be nice, though. Very cool. Boy, they did do the insects, which was a nice addition to go alongside that stuff, but minerals, display, and at first I didn't notice that the the display for it is made out of Lego, so I thought that was really clever. Not only these brick usages, and some of these might be recolors. Really spicy set there, uh, but yeah, I just thought the the display for it was really cool. Then we've got DreamWorks Shrek Swamp 2 uh, with Miss Fiona there. Everybody you'd want. Donkey is a nice mold. Uh, be awesome to see this come uh, as a Lego set. I know that would be a really, really popular one. Uh, subculture, pop culture, everything. Uh, it's big classic at this point. Then we've got Hello Kitty and Friends, which would just break, break Lego for sure. I know they have had official like brick sets with other companies. So um, not ha Lego not having their feelings hurt and making uh, a license agreement with Hello Kitty would be cool because some of this, it, it just depends on licensing. That's that's kind of like one of the hardest parts for some of these is some companies just won't work with other companies. Um, then we've got Dr. Seuss the Grinch. Um, I think we need some type of Dr. Seuss set uh, in the... Uh, in the Lego realm, and so the Grinch would be definitely an appropriate set to have there. Let me know if there is a Dr. Seuss set, but I, I don't believe that there is. Um, here we've got Medieval Tournament. You know, everything Classic Castle fits in nice. Uh, we did have the Blacksmith idea set not too long ago. Among Us, very popular uh, video game. Having that entire board, that, uh, that looks huge. So that would be interesting. Um, to see if that made it into a Lego set. Uh, here we've got Cherry Blossom. And so, like I said, the confliction with the botanical line, we just had another smaller botanical flower release in that kind of $30 price point. So this would definitely go nice. I do like the, the scissors. That is nice. Uh, I'm just now noticing that down there. Then we've got Roman Forum. And so having the... Coliseum would be having having this next to the Coliseum would be nice having that in the lineup some of those minifigures would be cool I know there was some Roman guards in a CMF line, but having them in this set would be would be pretty nice <clears throat> Excuse me the Wizard of Oz and so with the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory getting announced we've got Nightmare Before Christmas, all these different movies, and then Wicked is coming as a movie, and so The Wizard of Oz would be a great set uh, to have. It looks to be on like a Mills plate, which is interesting choice just to set it up. I guess it's so big and bulky they might have to redesign it, rework it a little bit, but um, yeah, everything jam-packed in there. That's a, that's a great one. Um, Interstellar, great movie. I really enjoyed it. Uh, 
high intensity, so the robot, the water, uh, really makes the set in, in that display there. Uh, working suspension railway, that is cool. The hanging upside down, kind of almost like would fit next to Welcome to Apocalypseburg, something like that, excuse me. And then next we've got Metallica M72 World Tour. Radical, man, all the characters, all the band members, their guitars, super sick. You need like 100 plus minifigures to fill in the crowd. That would be kind of fun to see actually. Um, suitcase Express, interesting, interesting, tight little suitcase. You open it up, mini little town inside of it. There was the Ideas uh, Pirate Treasure Chest that is still under review, so that that's interesting. That would go good together. Uh, Outer Worlds, nicely spaceship landing for a nice little campsite. Here we've got Clockwork Solar System. So there's a Technic set that's similar to this. Um, and so seeing the bigger entire solar system built up, very, very cool to see that elaborated on. Um, Medieval Inn. So this would go good next to the uh, Blacksmith. That, that would be a good one. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Believe that is a TV show. Never seen it. So uh, let me know in the comments if it's a good one. Looks like all the minifigures you'd probably want. My Neighbor Totoro. Another Miyazaki film. Hard to put them up next to each other if you don't know. Spirited Away, the very first submission, is a Miyazaki film, the director. Then we've got My Neighbor's Totoro, My Neighbor Totoro, which is also a Miyazaki film. And I would like to see Totoro as a mold. So if it did get picked, uh, that would definitely be a must for me. The, the cat bus, very nice there. Tower Chess. So we just had a creator set that was a very nicely put together uh, chess set so I don't know that this would be picked to go alongside that but I love the approach I love the design the way you can store away the pieces the pieces look well designed as well very good one there medieval bee farm and so another one just hitting that medieval castle vibes looks like it's built up on a platform so a little bit uh special building techniques so that's kind of cool down there here a lego gundam absolutely needed i believe this is just like the classic um you know i'm not i'm not even gonna say which one it is because i'm not sure but i watched mobile suit gundam uh shining gundam but I, I know that's not shining gundam with the shield let me know in the comment uh comments what gundam but just in general any type of gundam so this would definitely be one of my highest picks here um Bondi owns it and so that would be like a licensing thing it's another toy company but at this point I think there's such a place for Gundam uh, in the Lego space, especially if it came in as an idea set. This is a great way to have that happen. Uh, Rocky Reef Restoration. And so at first I was like, man, what's the the jellyfish is a little bit off scale, but they that is some type of a restoration vehicle. So they're they're helping the reef restore it. So I thought that's actually kind of fun. Good idea. Uh, promoting you know environmental stuff and uh yeah just so much detail so much packed in there here the wizard's peak and for me i think this is a render but it almost looks like it's slanting and so like i know that's a lot of weight um and i don't know if that's the the way it's intended but that's just the way i'm perceiving it but really cool almost reminds me of that suspension bridge thing but it needs chains um so i don't know that that's the technique the the base for it like the bonsai pot almost very very good right there dancing house of Prague. no clue what that is no no idea but it's a massive that is a massive lego model based on a real building in Prague. i'm sure of it but uh the the blue tiling is nice on along the side the architecture for it i'm sure the building techniques to achieve that mi massive massively wicked cool but um no no clue no clue what that is finding nemo first day of school and i thought this was extremely adorable the base for it as well adding that just that extra kind of displayability kind of elevating it off the ground making it look a little better the goggles is a nice touch but yeah having that the scene uh where they they touch the butt go to school hilarious uh very good set there Another Coraline set, if you've seen my other videos, I feel like I see so many Coraline submissions, which is awesome. It's a great thing. But at some point, I think Lego should probably listen and, and make that a set. So uh, Coraline, the Pink Palace, that's at least the third 
or the fourth one that I've seen here recently, vintage record player and exactly what you would imagine. We've got the retro radio. So even taking it a step further back and having a vintage record player would be a pretty cool idea. The extra records, you could do all kinds of your favorite records and different things to put on there would be, be very cool. Put your phone next to it, probably pretend like it's playing. But the Highland Cow, adorable, real life build. Like to see a real picture of a build submitted. So great job there. We've got Scooby-Doo and the Ravenwood Mansion. Man, this would be so epic. Please, definitely, this is part of my top five pick for sure. Scooby-Doo, everybody's favorite. I mean, who who didn't watch Scooby-Doo as a kid? I hope you got to watch Scooby-Doo as a kid. But man, this would be 10 out of 10. Definitely the, the art and everything adds to it. But the set itself, massive, super cool. Please definitely choose that one. Uh, but then we've got Greek Holiday. So we just got the Italian Riviera. So Greek Holiday would be a nice, another kind of different architecture build from a different region uh, and the way it achieves and just that classic blue and white. Definitely what you would imagine along the seaside. Men in Black, Agent K's transforming jet car. So I would assume Transformer Transforms has the jet pop out or you attach it. Uh, from the car so when he takes off and it just zooms and they get thrown back in the seat so a men in black set would be pretty be pretty cool actually i'd like to see that not even gonna attempt that word uh chain bridge in budapest very cool unfamiliar with it architecture long bridge very very big 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 bridge right there then we've got great british bake-off and this is adorable i'm i'm sure people of all ages and kinds watch this show, but I know personally my mom watches it, and a couple times I've watched it. Great show. Uh, having a TV show like that integrated into a Lego set, I think would be a great opportunity. Would be pretty cool to see. Ancient Egyptian temple. Um, seeing more Egyptian stuff I like. We've got the great temple, or excuse me, the great uh, Pyramid of Giza. And so more uh, Egyptian architecture would be cool to add into the Lego lineup. Sony Walkman, kicking it old school. The uh, headphones is a nice addition there. The cassettes or the Walkman tapes, throwing them into the the player, I'm sure, would be, which is a, a, is a classic nostalgia feeling. Uh, we've had a few nostalgia items as well, like what we've had. The Atari, that was one that was a great nostalgia item. Here we've got Lego reptiles, and we had the insects not too long ago. And I love that turtle, the chameleon, the the spotted maybe leopard lizard. I'm not sure, but uh, great. That would be a pretty fun one. Um, here, Lego canal houseboat. And so having this houseboat kind of thing go along like the old fishing store and different classic sets like that is nice. We did just have the Jaws uh, set become a i think it was a i think it was an idea set was it not i don't know let me know in the comments yeah that the jaws was an idea set and that actually has a boat not similar but still boat so not sure if it's needed at this moment here we've got crescent moon rock sculpture i feel like did we, did we see a different one from the last round that was similar but just like a different season a moon crescent one like interesting i like that though very cool idea the pot down below uh, Portal Quantum, so I believe that's a game, maybe the Portal Gun, probably from the game, I think it's a PlayStation 2 game, correct me, let me know in the comments what that set is, I do like that addition build, I don't know what that is on the side, actually, but, uh, Sewer Heroes Fighting the Fatberg, ooh, okay, overtime, definitely, uh, woo, that, uh, your def Sewer Heroes, woo, definitely, whoa, uh interesting wolf pack castle great great uh build the way it peeks into the underground as well uh the facade of the building the sewer truck going down through the manhole um accurate very cool um just thought maybe maybe not my favorite uh theme maybe we could just make it something more fun um but accurate super accurate great build uh fits into the modular theme as well uh wolf pack castle 
definitely uh that is like a sub theme somewhere within castle it's a character so having their own uh castle would be nice uh playing into the whole lego fandom and the lego uh factions of castle looking at laurel and hardy theater uh no clue who that is the theater looks nice the stage for it so i think people would get it even if they didn't know what it is uh that would be a good Good opportunity for a stage setup. Here we've got Sushi Boat coming at 46. We're almost to the end. Uh, if you do like sushi eating out, having a fancy sushi boat with all your little sides. Very cool. Very nicely done from that from that bird's eye view as well. The Art of Japan. Having a vignette, having a display picture, but then still 3D in black and white. The cherry blossoms, which I would assume in the corner. Just that pop of red for the for the rising sun, magnificent. I, I like Japanese culture. That's a cool one to have in the lineup. And lastly, hitting that 48, Book Nook, a, the story. And so the story laboratory. But I, I just don't – so the whole point of the Book Nook is to put it between books. So if you were to want to get it as a Book Nook, then you'd have to take the books off or put them next to your books. But – Yes, book nook is needed. That is that is pretty cool as well. So uh, overall, wham, bam, slamming down, forty eight possible. Not not forty eight possible, but uh, the next forty eight possible idea sets. And something I noted down below. This was the first uh, review for twenty twenty four, and it says results coming in the fall of twenty twenty four. So. That's something to look forward, really speeding up the process for what's going on. But here, before we end the video, let's call out the five. Let's try to do like like five sets that I think that I want that between that I either think would be good ones or slash that I want them to become sets. And I'm going to go with... Man, it's good. so Scooby Doo. That was definitely one of my favorites. I think Coraline needs to be picked. I, I just think that needs to happen at this point. The Gundam definitely needs to happen. And so between the two Miyazaki Miyazaki ones, that's what I'm having a hard time between. The Spirited Away is a building, but then the Totoro is a display. <sighs> I'm going to go with Totoro because it's a display. I really hope they choose one of those two. And then for my last one, what would I want? What would I think? I'm going to fudge it. I'm going to say five or six. So the the Hello Kitty needs to happen, but I just feel maybe because of licensing, it wouldn't get picked. And the, the railway, the upside down railway is cool. Shrek. I mean, I don't, somewhere in there. So I'm going to go with Shrek. Shrek is going to be the last one, but... Great looking at all these idea sets with you guys. Hopefully you enjoy these. Super casual. Didn't even click on the images. No clue what's going on. I mean, what did that take us? That took us 18 minutes to look at all of these. And um, who knows? Maybe two, two are going to get picked. So fingers crossed for your favorite ones. Uh, let me know. I'm looking at the, the men in black too. Oh, man. Like all of them. But uh, it's hard. It's very hard. So I enjoy it. It's fun. Lego's awesome. Let me know what sets you would like to see become real sets. Maybe Lego will see them, know that people want those. But uh, like, comment, and subscribe. But most importantly, never stop evolving. Uh, uh.